What is up, everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here today. And before we start today's video, I just want to give out a quick message. Unfortunately, content creators in our hobby are having issues. This is nothing new. It happens every couple months. Uh, my Patreon was just taken down. Uh, YouTube went on another banning spree. 90 Second Mycology is probably the most notable channel that was taken down in the latest crackdown by YouTube. So guys, my channel may not be long for this world. So if you would like to stay in the loop, everything mycophilia related, I have decided to make a brand new independent hub, not under the eye of Big Brother, or not as much at least. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a website, guys. I'm gonna have all the mycophilia stuff there. So if you would like to stay in the loop, please bookmark the website in the description. That's gonna be my new website. I'm not gonna say the name of it, but it's in the description. And there's nothing up there right now, but that's gonna be the domain name I'm gonna be using to set everything up. So if I disappear or something, periodically check on the website. All later updates, I will tell you guys either on the Discord server or the YouTube channel if it still exists. And the, talking about the Discord server, that is the main place where I am most active and posting updates about the situation and you know if anything happens to this channel or stuff. So the Discord server is also a great backup. So the link is in the description as well. It's free to join. And also finally, I have a backup channel for this channel. So it's also in the description. Please consider subscribing if you would like to stay in the loop. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. What is up everybody? This is Michael File Sage checking in here today. Hope you guys are doing awesome. So today is the 6th of February and it has been almost two weeks since I've come back from my little break. And I've just been really busy doing stuff, you know, getting genetics out and just getting everything readjusted. And so I rarely got a chance to actually do some cultivating. But as you guys may remember, I kept a bunch of jars in the fridge. So all these guys are from the fridge. All these guys were from the fridge with the exception of this guy. So yeah, super fridge tech. Over here, we got some Mexican grass lovers. Uh, but anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. So two days ago, I finally got around to spawning some of these guys and I have so many projects right now. This guy's a project, this guy's a project. One of them I can't talk about, but the other I can. And uh, it's basically a tech that I'm working with a friend it is a kind of uh, special fruiting chamber for exotic species. And so that's why we have this guy. This guy is... So this is round two. If you guys remember the first time we did it, we did it in a shoebox and a bunch of them aborted. And um, it's likely due to misting. The caps don't like to be misted. At least that's what I've heard. I, I, again, I haven't really done too much research on it yet, unfortunately, but I'm sort of winging it, but I kind of like it that way because it's a little more fun. Uh, but that's sort of what I heard. But then again, you know, I've heard a lot of conflicting info about various things, including that. Uh, so I'm not like 100% invested in it. It's just uh, more so one person's experience or a couple people's experience with it. For example, people say you can't miss it. Otherwise, they're going to abort. As you guys have seen over the months on this Patreon channel, no problem at all. I missed the crap out of it. I missed them like grass lovers. No aborts as a result of that. Dryness, that can certainly cause aborts. Uh, but, you know, the, the way that I treat my is completely opposite of people or what people say you should do it's a complete no no you should have missed them they're going to abort they don't abort so that's why i sort of take it with a pinch of salt now it could also be that there's some strains of a species that are more likely to abort that's certainly possible and some that are more hardy that's certainly true as well so again with zaps it's still pretty fairly new territory uh it, it is you know in the in the if you take it relatively compared to other more established species like say, Again, um, it's quite a difference. So I want to show you guys how this thing is doing. So as you can see, it's it's a tray grow. It's not a shoebox grow or anything like that. Now, I'm sure you could grow these in shoeboxes somehow, but I really need to get on working with this tech because I'm working on it with a friend and uh, I want to release it, you know, uh, at some point. So I hope you guys are excited for it. So I'm going to open this up. So I bought some takeout, uh, I don't know what, what you call these. These are basically aluminum trays food <laughs> a very basic explanation of what these are yeah check it out so it's colonizing this is just a core substrate obviously this is uh, brown rice so yeah that's a good sign that's a good sign right there so once it's fully colonized i'm going to case these babies and i'm going to put them in the fruiting chamber now unfortunately because this is sort of a secret tech i can't show you guys the fruiting chamber until i release it and it's it already works really well for minimal effort 
minimal. It's like practically like a shoebox. It works really well, but I haven't tried it with any other species. So, and the good thing about the is that it, it like allows for more fresh air exchange. So the caps open more and that means perfect for prints. So for those of you in the genetic steers, will be coming eventually. So we'll put that to the side here. And over here, we got some, remember these guys were all in the fridge, like fridge stack. So this guy, you know, I shook it up because there was one part because it was really slow to colonize compared to, I mean, the is over here already fully spawned, but the here, I shook it up because uh, there was a big patch that wasn't colonizing. It didn't look to be as a result of contamination or wet rot or anything like that. And as you can see, they are indeed uh, recovering quite nicely. So yeah, they just take a little while. This part I couldn't break up. They were just so solid. But for those who don't know, you know, uh, truffle mycelium looks like this. This is how they're supposed to look. Um, there are some differences between and the way look. Actually, in my opinion, does look a little more funky, but also do put out some weird colors and stuff. I don't know what this part is about though. Um, it's kind of bluing it does look like it's bluing. So this is over a year old, a year old vintage. So you can see the dust on top, you know, it's only for a special occasion. So yeah, that's the uh, right there. And okay, let's just, in, you know, in the vein of jars, let's get through the jars first. I have another zap here. So basically while I'm colonizing these guys, I'm doing preliminary testing on the fruiting chamber. I set everything up. Now I'm checking the humidity and I'm checking the fresh air exchange before I put these guys in. So I'm dialing that in. So once I dial that in and so far it's doing really well, it's doing really, really well, but I'm going to have to get some more material to do the rest of these guys. So this is another zap. And uh, so I'm going to have to get moving on this guy because as you can see, there's some signs of aging. See that yellowing and stuff? Yeah. Same with the zaps that I spawned in the trays. Um, same thing happening. So yeah, I better get some material and make those guys as well. Hopefully I have space though. That's the main issue. Uh, so over here, this is a... And of course, uh, by this point, if you're watching this video, you probably have already seen my video on myceliated grains. But you see this, this is not mold. This is bluing. This is bluing because the mycelium of this species is very so it's basically like sclerotia except it doesn't even produce sclerotia it's just the mycelium and uh, this method of production is referred to as myceliated grains and it's nothing new in uh, the medicinal and gourmet world and a lot of people have basically okay i'll just say like paul stamets you know his um what was it fungi defense or whatever his uh, his brand is of supplements uh uses myceliated grains and it's sort of been you know quite controversial because people are like hey we're paying good price for this supplement and it doesn't even come with the fruiting bodies of mushrooms so a lot of supplement brands as a result sort of market on the fact of they literally say like we use only the fruiting bodies of mushroom it's not mycelium like other other brands so i would like to touch a bit on that it's um there's there's two sides to it yes certain compounds will be stronger usually uh from the fruits but maybe the medicinal compounds that you want are going to be stronger in concentration in the mycelium uh, because the concentration of alkaloids is, is often different between the fruits and the mycelium. Uh, so there's lots of interesting things to look into still. I mean, I say that like still, like as if we've covered everything we haven't. There's like so much, you know, the more you know, the less you know. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. And I thought that was the end of the video. I was like, wait, no, I got shoe boxes here. <laughs> so let's get to it. So over here we have rusty whites. So let's take a look. First, the outside, colonizing pretty nicely. Uh, so this was spawned on the fourth. So that is literally two days ago. And they are colonizing this. There you go. Um, do I see any metabolites? No, no, no. Smells good. All right. So we'll leave that there. And the next thing we have is some... Let's take a look here. I, I um, didn't uh, make it very thick. Spawned a sub-ratio, as you can see. And they're doing well. Over there, as you can see, is a truffle. So I spawned this with a truffle and all from the jars. For those who don't know, if you have truffles um, already being produced in your jar, you can harvest the truffles and then spawn it to bulk or you could actually spot it to bulk with the truffles like I did here. And as you can see, there's a truffle right there. So yeah, 
they'll be fine. It's all just mycelium at the end of the day. And these guys are uh, moving pretty well. So almost ready to be cased, honestly. So I better prepare some casing soon. And finally, we have a good old um, if you guys remember that September grow was epic, absolutely gorgeous, the live, my first live casing grow. So hopefully we can uh, get some more. And the issue with these guys is even though the caps open, they did not drop any spores for me. No spores off these guys, pretty tough to sporulate. So I can't wait to try these guys in the fruiting chamber eventually. The reason that I'm doing it in a shoe box is because I don't have any more space to add any more shoe, uh, fruiting chambers. and. I don't want to like buy too many of the same like things for the fruiting chambers uh, and the materials for the tech. If like without dialing it in, like you know, trying it out a grow or two, it's like you 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 have to walk before you run. Otherwise, you could be wasting a lot of money and uh, wasting a lot of time. So I just want to get like a couple of those, uh, like particularly the to at least uh, fruit a little bit issue with his apps though is that they take a long time to fruit as well so it's it may take a while but we'll see we'll see and i, I will also be trying i'd like to try it with them as well because as you guys who've been watching for a while know like men especially are super temperamental in fruiting sometimes they fruit really well sometimes they fruit really badly uh barely fruit at all and it's not like the spawn is dirty or anything it's just really really unpredictable so hopefully maybe we could get a little bit more consistency in that but the have no problem dropping spores you know neither do the they have no problem dropping spores as well so yeah guys that's the video for today i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys have a great day or night bye bye